Welcome to Camille Cares Kitchen, episode three. Today we're cooking three tomato soup with grilled cheese and spinach chicken rolls. First, let's set up our mise en place. We wanna make sure that all of our ingredients are measured and ready to go. This recipe yields a meal for four. For this recipe, you will need four large tomatoes. I'm using red, orange, and white tomatoes that I bought at the farmer's market. You wanna chop these, medium size, one teaspoon of fresh thyme, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped, 10 ounces of tomato paste, three quarter cup of EVO, a quarter cup of tomato sofrito, two teaspoons of ricotta cilantro seasoning, a half cup of heavy cream, two and a half cups of vegetable or chicken stock, one stalk of celery finely diced, one yellow or Spanish onion finely diced, two teaspoons of butter, and one to two bay leaves. For the chicken spinach rolls, you will need a half pound of fresh spinach, chopped, salt and black pepper, a half cup of pecorino cheese, finely grated, and one to two chicken breasts. We're gonna slice these out and I'll show you how to do this later. For the grilled cheese, you'll need cheddar, two teaspoons of butter, excuse me, two tablespoons of butter, and four slices of whole wheat bread, or eight if you're gonna have two pieces per sandwich. Remember, you can make your own homemade chicken or vegetable stock. I combine chicken bones, chicken parts, celery, a bay leaf, onion, carrot, salt, cloves, four cups of water, all in a large stock pot. Cover it up. I let that boil for two hours on low to medium heat. With what I have left, I strain and I put that right in the freezer to store. You can store it, I believe, it has a shelf life up to about six months. It's extremely easy and a necessity in most dishes. In a large quart or broth pot, you wanna combine all the ingredients for your soup except the cream and the stock. You wanna stir these together on medium to high heat. You wanna let the onions and all of those other seasonings, the garlic, all saute down for a bit. When they've come kind of glass-like, you wanna add two cups of your stock. You wanna lower your heat and allow this to stew and cook for 35 minutes. After the 35 minutes, you want to remove your bay leaf. Transfer the tomato stew into a blender or a food processor to create a smooth red-orange consistency. Once you've completed this process, you want to now return your soup back to the fire on medium heat. You want to fold in your heavy cream, return the bay leaves, and then season our soup with salt and pepper to taste. It should look like this when you are ready. Using your chef knife, you want to thinly slice the chicken breast in half horizontally. So we're going to put our hands on top of the chicken breast, turn our chef knife horizontally, and slice each chicken breast. You should have two pieces now, and you're going to now repeat that on each half. In a small mixing bowl, you're going to combine the spinach and grated cheese. This mixture is what we'll be using to stuff our thinly sliced chicken breast. At this point, you should have four chicken breasts thinly sliced. Uh, grab a spoon and we're going to scoop a handful of the spinach leaves and cheese mixture and put it in the middle of that chicken breast. What I want you to do is slowly roll the chicken as if we were in Cuba and rolling cigars, but except we're using chicken and cheese and spinach. You're going to get some string together and tie the chicken rolls to keep them really nice and tight. We're going to place this in a baking dish um, and place it into our oven that's been preheated at 400 degrees. Let this bake uncovered for 15 to 20 minutes till it gets crispy, yet we want to make sure that it stays juicy. There you have it, a beautiful, warm, crispy, buttery grilled cheese sandwich with our chicken and spinach rolls, all washed down with our star of the show, this amazing homemade three tomato soup. Thank you, Green Market. I had a great time shopping there, and now I have this amazing soup. I want to let you guys know this is our second year anniversary here at Camille Cares. Thank you for watching, and until next time, from my kitchen to yours, enjoy.